For homicide detectives, their chance of solving a murder is cut in half if they don't get a lead within the first 48 hours. Hey, good evening, everybody. I will have begin to find for a Another night in San Andreas. K43, 1343, monitor yourself for 1389. All right, so what do we got? We have one male victim. He's deceased on the upper level of the apartment complex in front of an apartment door. The victim suffered approximately four to six gunshot wounds, including one to the head. So far, we have two witnesses who heard about eight to nine gunshots and was able to see the suspect fleeing over the back wall into the alley. Our 911 caller is still inside her residence and she was the one who discovered our victim dead outside her door. She has no relation to the victim and said she has never seen him here before. Alright, let's uh, head up there and take a look. Alright, so here appears to be our victim. Uh, deceased. Uh, he looks like a young Hispanic male, approximately 19 to 30 years of age. Um, multiple GSWs, visual. Uh, one to the left forehead. Um, let's see if we can, uh, if he's got a wallet or some ID on him. I'm not seeing any weapon around our victim. Um, he appears like he was ambushed and uh, died here in front of this lady's apartment. It's a lot of blood. All right, so we're going to uh, do a quick canvas for uh, possible shell casings or anything related. It appears to be some blood here on the uh, air conditioner unit. Um, not sure if it's related or not. We'll collect a sample of that uh, and send it off to the lab. Um, I'm not seeing any shell casings here. Do we have a secondary crime scene or? All right, so let's start canvassing and interviewing witnesses um, as well as see if we can locate any surveillance cameras that might have caught the shooting. Um, we're going to have a conversation with our 911 caller and um, see if we can get a description of the suspect. The ME has arrived on scene and um, hopefully they will be able to give us some further information regarding the uh, type of gun that was used in this uh, shooting as well as anything possibly on our victim for trace evidence and uh, stuff like that so we'll go ahead and do a uh, secondary sweep of the complex all right so our medical examiner and uh, coroner have arrived they're going to be removing the body um, taking the body to the morgue uh, for autopsy all right, let's go have a conversation with the two witnesses. Uh, Detective Isaacs with the Homicide Investigations Unit. Um, what'd you guys see tonight? We live in the complex right here, and we heard about seven to ten shots. They sounded like they were coming from the back pool area. 
We looked out the window, and we saw a man climbing the back wall into the alley and running away. I didn't get a good look at him. I wish I could be of more help. This was supposed to be a good neighborhood. This type of crime is usually only in Davis. Alright, well, they're not much help. Um, they don't have a description of the suspect, but, uh, we'll get them transported down to Homicide for a further statement. Let's go and see if we can contact our 911 caller and uh, get a statement from her. Hi ma'am, I'm uh, Detective Isaacs with the Homicide Investigations Unit. Um, we call them on one regarding the shooting that happened in front of your apartment. Yes, I heard the shots coming from the pool area. I just went and hid under my bed until it was all over. When I came outside, the man was dead in front of my apartment. I used to live on Grove Street. I moved here to get away from this kind of stuff. I didn't see anything, and I do not want to be involved. Alright, well it appears like nobody wants to be involved. Um, in IDing the suspect. We're not getting any description from witnesses or um, any real helpful, useful information. Um, we're going to contact the complex superintendent and uh, see if we can get some uh, video footage, if they have working video footage from the landlord and um, hopefully that will uh, give us some more leads because as of right now we have no leads. Um, hopefully something in the victim's background will lead us to a possible suspect or if the medical examiner can uh, do the autopsy we'll uh, be able to get some information that way. So it appears the common denominator in all the witness statements is that uh, the shooting occurred by the pool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, see what type of evidence we can locate over there because that's going to possibly be our initial crime scene. Hello. The victim probably ran uh, this way up the stairs and um, collapsed in front of the door. Not sure why he ran up there but um, we're seeing some, uh, there's some shell casings over here. Um, so we're going to get uh, CSI to collect that. Alright, so appears like this is where the victim was shot at. Um, we have a significant amount of blood here as well as uh, some shell casing. So we'll get crime scene to come out here and collect that. As well as uh, there's some blood here on this air conditioner as well. Um, so we'll also get crime scene to come out and collect that. I'm not seeing any surveillance equipment, uh, no cameras visible, but um, just quick canvas of the area, see if the shooter dropped anything or left any sort of evidence. Yeah, this building doesn't even appear to have any sort of video camera surveillance system. So as of right now, it looks like we've got ourselves a who done it. Who done it? All right, let's go and document the uh, spot where the body was. Take some photographs of the secondary crime scene. Um, and. Uh, take the witnesses down to the station for further interrogation. Alright, um, what do we got? We were able to locate 10 9mm shell casings. No weapon on scene. Alright, well that corroborates so far the witness statements that I've got that um, indicates that the shooting did occur in the back by the pool. Um, by the blood that we found, as well as the shell casings, uh, this is our uh, initial crime scene. 
All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and head back downtown um, to interview the two witnesses and the 911 caller to see if we can uh, generate a lead based on their uh, secondary statement. Um, so for now, I'm just going to get up out of here. Uh, we'll contact the uh, landlord and inquire about further surveillance system, but uh, as of right now, there's not much we can do. All right, so we're going to clear off here, head back downtown, and uh, start our lengthy interview process while the other officers out here canvas if there's more information or they need us back out here. We'll just come back out here. All right, so we're out here at the scene of the uh, shooting that just took place here um, in the alleyway. I mean, since there's to be a uh, blood gang member was shot and killed. This is a rolling 60s crip neighborhood, so it uh, doesn't surprise me if it's gang related. So I'm just waiting for EMTs while uh, they try basic life support. So the victim was a uh, blood gang member. Um, this is a rolling 60s crypt area, so I'm not surprised if the, this isn't gang related. Got other officers out there canvassing for witnesses and um, possible suspects for further evidence. But uh, it doesn't appear to be nobody else seen here. Medic's done all they could for him. Um, they declared him dead. So homicide detectives are going to come out here and uh, start their investigation. Spray paint. It's possible uh, what led to the shooting. Members of rival gangs will come into other rival territories and try to tag up the wall. Appears like that's what was going on here. Might have been 
caught in the act and uh, right, and killed for it. Looks like medics and fire rescue cleared off scene. And we're still getting units over there. Um, Detectives are just on here waiting for the uh, medical examiner. Right, so detectives are uh, just waiting for the medical examiner to come out. <coughs> yeah, ambulance uh, 38, the we're uh, so far, no witnesses are coming forward. Hey, boo, you look great. All right, what's the route? We need an all route. Oh, yes. No, they're victims. What's the route? There's two routes I know right now. We believe right now we're going to push street. Right, it appears like the yeah. medical examiner in the corner is going to be. Hey, I'm here in regarding to the shooting that happened across the street. Did you uh, so happen to see anything? Uh, just mind if we take a uh, look at the surveillance footage? Yeah, that would be awesome. Where's your, where's your video surveillance uh, set up? In the back? Alright, uh, so just as we had expected, um, appears like uh, our victim was spray painting on the wall, and some rival gang members approached him. Um, some words were exchanged, and then uh, one of the members of the rival gang fired multiple shots at our victim, striking and killing him on the video. Alright, we're gonna need to copy this video. Um, I do appreciate it. So it shows on the surveillance camera that they fled in a white colored vehicle. Silver X-ray. Yeah, they're all over it. Coming out to the expressway now. This is dispatch. Put a bolo out for a white colored stainer in the area of innocence and struggle. Ten four copy. Vehicle's gonna be occupied times three. Bravo Mike's wearing all blue. Ten four, copy that. Last seen fleeing the alleyway eastbound on Innocence. Coming up to King Ryan. Come on! Coming up to King now. Alright. Going through the park, Washington Park. Yeah, I do appreciate it. Alright, going through the park now, Washington Park. 
Alright, uh, while well, he goes and gets a copy of the tape, uh, let's go back over to the... 5740, what, where? Last unit coming in was 5740, I didn't copy that. Where on 5740? Oh God! Yeah, camera yeah, 2, I think. Just give me, let's take copies of all of them.